Hello and welcome to another episode of Beacon Bin Science. Today I am going to talk about a very small particle which is having a size in nanometers. Nanometers is actually a billionth of a meter. So many so small size particle is creating a so much impact on all the fields around us, whether it is electronics or it is a biomedical or whether it is something related to solar cells, solar panels, everything. It is covering everything. And this particle is very crucial in today's era. In 2023, three scientists named Mongi Bivendi, Louis Bruce, and physicist Alex Ekino in chemistry shared a Nobel Prize. They received a Nobel Prize for the discovery and synthesis of quantum dots, the things that light up TV screens and help doctors to see the blood vessels that fed tumors. A quantum dot gets its name because it is tiny dot of metal so small that it effectively concentrated into a single point we can even call it a zero dimensional it is so small that it can be considered as individual atom that is having well defined energy levels according to the law of quantum theory but what are quantum dots made of imagine quantum dots are incredibly tiny building blocks and these building blocks are made of semiconductor materials semiconductors are like materials that are part way between being good conductor of electricity like metals and insulator like rubber these quantum dots are often made from materials like cadmium selenide lead sulfide or other semiconductor compounds it's a bit like choosing different colors of lego bricks to build something scientists carefully combine these materials to create quantum dots in a lab just like you might mix ingredients for baking a cake but how quantum dots are like magic pixels let's understand this imagine each quantum dot is like a magic pixel on a screen and when you shine light on it or give it energy it light up with a specific color just like the pixel on your tv or phone screen make up the image you see quantum dots are like vibrant colors here the interesting part the size of the quantum dot dictates its property smaller dots have a higher energy level resulting in the emission of shorter wavelength light often in the blue region while the larger dots emits longer wavelength light such as red this tunability is a key feature allowing scientists to precisely control the emitted color it's a bit like having a box of crayon where each crayon is a different size and give you a different color now the serious question comes why this small size particle emitting a blue light while the large size particle are emitting a red light let's understand this with the example of trampoline imagine you have a small trampoline and you are bouncing a boy or a girl on it if a trampoline is large the boy or a girl can bounce freely and doesn't need much energy to go from one bounce to the next however if you shrink the trampoline to a tiny size the boy or a girl can't bounce as freely as it was doing because it confined in a smaller space now let's relate this to quantum dots in a small quantum dots electrons are confined in a tiny space similar to the boy on the small trampoline in a quantum dots electron can only exist at specific energy level just like boy a girl can only exist at certain height when bounce on the trampoline moving to the higher energy level to make an electron from one energy level to higher energy level you need to give it energy just like you need to give the boy more force to bounce higher on the small trampoline so the tr small quantum dots have limited space because of the quantum dot is tiny there is limited space for the electron to exist at different energy level the energy level are like steps on a staircase to move the electron to the highest step you need to provide it with more energy so that you need to give a more energy 
to a small size quantum dots compared to the big size quantum dots. That's why the smaller size quantum dots shows a blue color more compared to the more large size quantum dots which gives a red color while emitting the light. How to synthesize quantum dot? It's like cooking up quantum dots in a laboratory. Welcome to the quantum kitchen where scientists cooks up something truly amazing, quantum dots. Today, we will take a look at how these tiny wonders are synthesized in the lab using a recipe that combines the right ingredients in just the right way. Just like in any recipe, we start with ingredients. For quantum dots, the key components are semiconductor materials like cadmium and selenium. These are the building blocks for a tiny light emitting wonder. Next step is the mixing of these ingredients. It's time to mix these ingredients. Scientists carefully combine the semiconductor material in a solution. It's a bit like mixing flour and water to make dough, but on a much smaller scale and with specific chemicals. Now it's time to heating it up. Just like baking a cake, we need to apply some heat. Scientists heat the solution to the precise temperature. This cooking process helps the material react and form the quantum dots. It's like putting your cake in the oven to let it rise and take shape. As we know, size matters in the quantum world. To control the size of our quantum dots, scientists adjust factors like temperature and duration of the reaction. Now that's time to cool it down. Once our quantum dots has taken shape, it's time to cool things down. This step is crucial to stop the reaction and stabilizing the dots. It's like taking your freshly baked cookie out of the oven and letting them cool on the rack. And the final process is the purification of your batch. Scientists filter the solution to pure the quantum dot. This ensures we have a clean and uniform batch ready for various applications. Final touch is surface coating. To give our quantum dot some extra flares and functionality, scientists might add a surface coating. This coating helps protect the dots and can be customized for specific applications. It's like adding frosting to your cake for both decoration. Thank you for watching this video till the end. Today we have learned what are quantum dots, how they are made up of, how can we make it in the lab and why they are so colorful, why they emit light. All these things we are trying to cover in this section. If you want to know further about these quantum dots and do you have, if you have any knowledge about uh, these quantum dots, if you are doing a research on these quantum dots, then please share your knowledge, your experience about the quantum dots in the comment section. Till then, stay safe. See you in the next video.